Hello Scorpio, hope you're all doing well. Thank you for all your likes, shares and subscribes and thank you to, uh, welcome to the channel. We have soulmates. Now this is a lovely energy. It's a very well balanced energy within your environment. So good teammates, workmates, good friends, partners, all that type of thing. Beautiful, uh, harmonious type of energy here. Helpful people again, so Spirit's making this point that it's beneficial for you here, Scorpio, to be around people that you can trust, that will help you in life and that are supportive. Choose a new direction. So it might be that you need to choose a direction to go towards these type of environments and people, but we'll see what the tarot is saying here. What Spirit's saying, I'll make it more clear. The Ace of Swords, the King of Cups, beautiful mature energy there, the Queen of Cups, beautiful, the Queen of Pentacles, central energy is good news, the Knight of Wands, the Two of Swords is on choose a new direction, the Four of Pentacles, and the Five of Pentacles. Now, what we've got here is we've got feeling left out in the cold here, disappointment of some sort here. So it's very easy to, to feel like this. It's a very human um, trait that we have. We've all felt disappointed and left out in the cold. But what we need to do is with fives are change, you see. So we need to change that and we need to look at the Pentacles and we need to look at what we can build for ourselves here. Now, the Force here as well. And the four is about holding on to something too tightly that we need to let go. Now, energies flow in and out and we can become very stuck if we don't release things to bring new things in. So we're needing to make a decision here to choose a new direction so that we can release things that are holding us back here, that we're holding on to that we shouldn't be. And so and we need to be focusing on what we can build here to move on from this stuck energy. Now, this could be anything in your life. It could be your work life, your finances, your relationships or your environments. Now, if for, I'll give you an example. We could be in a job that is paying our bills, but we're bored in and it's, we're not happy in. So we might need to make a decision here, Spirit's saying, to choose a new direction so that we can start to build new things for ourselves and we can prosper again and we can grow. Now, this could also be living in a home with people that, you know, we've done it for a while, we're feeling financially secure, but we're not growing or prospering in that sense. So if there's a relationship, for example, that um, we're in, where we're getting a certain amount of security from, but we're not going to grow in it. We're just doing it. We're going through the everyday emotions. We might have to make a decision to choose a new direction. And this is about prospering and growing so anything that's making you feel left out in the cold and feeling let down by it's time to look at that and move on from now the overall energy here is good news so there's good news coming in that's going to help you with this now like i said spirit's, spirit's reminding you we said this at the very beginning that we should be around helpful people that help us prosper and grow and they're reminding you that a soulmate energy is the best type of energy to have around you. So people we can trust, people that support us, uh, environments that support us, environments with people in it that we know are going to help us flourish and grow. Now there's good news going to come in that's going to help you with this decision to choose a new direction. Now this could be any type of news. It's news that you're wanting to hear because it's creative news. So it could be emails, texts of any kind. It could be that you've got, you're moving home. It could be you're going on a holiday to recharge your batteries. Um, you could be moving house, you could be moving state, you could be moving country, anything to do with travel here. Um, but there's movement forward. So whatever it is that you're needing to look at to come make you unstuck, you need to let go here. The good news is going to come in and help you make that decision. And what's going to happen is it's going to bring in great clarity. So you're going to be able to communicate, speak up. You're going to start to see clearly what it is you need to do here to move towards what it is that you're passionate about. Nights of movement, so we're moving forward. So this good news is going to give you clarity. It could, like I say, you might have to communicate something. 
but it's going to help you with this decision and it's, you're going to start to see the way forward towards what it is that you want to create for yourself. Now, nights are movement, like I say, so we're going towards opportunities here that are good for us, things we're passionate about. So the good news is coming in. It could be somebody bringing you the good news. So it could be um, wands are Aries, Leos or Sagittarius energy, but it doesn't have to be that energy. It could be a messenger of good news as well. Now, the reason I'm saying that is, I've had said there could be romantic messages coming forward. This could be a very loving, caring uh, opportunity. It could have been romantic messages over somebody going towards or somebody coming towards you that you could have a relationship with. And it's a very loving, caring couple. Now, this king energy is somebody who feels things, doesn't always show them, but definitely feels things. And this queen energy is somebody who is very... Uh, intuitive, if you like. She's almost psychic, but she's got the lid on her emotions. So a very emotionally balanced, well-balanced relationship could be coming into your life. And this could be, that's definitely helpful people in that sense, but this could lead to uh, setting up home together here. This is a very nurturing, caring energy. So if it's not coming from a Cancer, cancer Pisces or Scorpio energy, because this is cups, or it's not coming from an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius energy, this opportunity could be coming from a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn energy, because this is a very nurturing person. So it's somebody you could set up home with, somebody who's very caring, you could have a lot of home comforts with, a good financial situation with, uh, and be very, very comfortable and loving in this relationship. Now, if it's not a relationship here, and it's you moving towards uh, whatever you're passionate about here and you're going to use your intuition here tune in with yourself because this is a queen that um, has got the lid on her emotions and you could move towards this beautiful happy mature energy of the king of cups so this decision and choosing this new direction is going to make you very happy you're going to find a lot of emotional stability within your environments your relationships your finances or uh, your work life so you're going to come into this beautiful energy of happiness now also uh, you will create for yourself this beautiful environment here of stability good financial stability good relationships you've got all your home comforts um, and you're surrounded by all the right people and you're in the right environments and that's highly important so time to make this decision Scorpio to go towards whatever it is choosing that new direction uh, getting the clarity you need through the good news that's coming in as well and going towards your happiness here. And we have go outside. It's time to go outside. Tune into the powerful piece of nature, wherever you are, and feel at one with your habitat. Absolutely. Make that decision to go towards this beautiful security and stability that the universe is wanting you to have. I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.